Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren, and I'm leading you through a quick five-minute advanced ab workout. Okay, it's pretty simple. You have five advanced ab exercises that are gonna challenge you, and you're gonna do each exercise for 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. You're just gonna cycle through each exercise one time, so give it your best go. Okay, if you wanna make this a longer ab workout, go ahead, repeat it, make it a 10-minute ab workout. We're just going quick and effective, five-minute, a great add-on to any workout. We're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna show you your first move. You're gonna come to your backside on the mat, and you are going to find what I like to call a hollow rock, okay? So option is always to leave the opposing leg on the ground, but if you can, bring your legs up, neck and shoulders lifted off the mat. I'm going to pull my right knee towards my chest, and I'm going to take my left hand and push it into my right knee. The more resistance I create, the harder the exercise will be. So you decide how hard this first move is. Let's go ahead and start right knee pulled in. I'm gonna push. You're gonna hold for five seconds, and then we're gonna switch. You're on in three, two, Let's go. So pushing my left hand into my right knee and I'm holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch, push, push for five, four, three, two, one. Again, the harder you push, the harder this will be. You're really hitting the outer glute. You're forcing the inner thigh to activate. Three, two, switch. Think about keeping that opposing hip connected to the ground for three, two, Switch, hold for five, four, three, two, switch, final side. Let's go five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice work. Move number two, you are gonna come up and over and you're gonna find a side plank. Doesn't matter, you're gonna do the other side next time. Shoulder is stacked over forearm. Feet can be stacked or scissored, you decide. You're gonna find a side plank. Option A, hold side plank. Option B, I'll give you an add-on if you so choose. All right, let's go, set it up. You're on in three, two, let's go. So you can stack your feet just like this. You can scissor your feet just like this. You can drop down to this inside knee and just hold here. Option A, hold. Option B, maybe you can crunch right here. Crunch, pull that outside leg, pull in. Let's go, you only gotta do it once. Come on, come on, make it count. Hello, obliques. Keep those hips lifted nice and high. You got this pull. Come on, let's go. Pull. Nice work, nice work. You got it. This is advanced abs right here. Let's go. 10 seconds. Come on. Push it. Bring it home. Right here. Keep that balance. Keep that core strong for three. Let's go. Two. And one more. You're out. Nice work. Whew. That's a tough move. Okay, you are going to come over to a low plank. Finding a forearm plank. Option A, you can hold here. Option B, you're gonna alternate your reach. Reach, you're gonna give me a reach out. Okay, so extending the arm away from the body is gonna make it nice and challenging. Keep those hips square to the ground. Set up your low plank. You are on in three, two, let's go. Reach your right hand out. Reach your left hand out. Just these opposing reaches, right? Really challenging the core to do what it's meant to do. Stabilize your body as your arms and limbs move away from your body. That's what the core is meant to do. That's what this exercise is training it to do. Mimicking every day, real life movements. Nice work, you can always take this down to your knees. You're challenging that core to stabilize you. Keep those hips square to the ground as you reach your arms away from your body. Come on, you got this. It burns, I know, I'm with you. I'm with you, we're in at five, four, three, two, one more. Ah, nice work. Awesome job, side plank. Other side, find that side plank, other side, same thing. Stack it, scissor it, drop down to that inside knee. You decide. Option, just hold side plank. Option, you can add that crunch. Whew, let's go, set it up. In three, two, let's go. Lift those hips up and off the mat. Option A, you can hold right here. Again, you can scissor the feet. You can drop down to that inside knee and lift that outside leg. A lot of options. You can stay right here, you can add that crunch. Whew, crunch, pulling that outside leg up, crunch. Keep those hips lifted high, you got this. You only gotta do it once, each side once. It's quick, it's fast, it's effective. Come on, let's go, let's go. Keep those hips lifted high. Core is meant to stabilizing you. You're making it do just that right here. What would it look like? If I said 10 seconds, I think you could do it. Come on, 10 seconds, yes you can. Let's go, right here. You got it, you got it. Give me three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys, up and over. Finding a high plank this time. You're gonna walk your hands, so like those reaches, now you're gonna take the reaches to the next level. You're going to walk your hands out away from your body, 
as far as you possibly can and then walk them back in. Yeah, that's holy bananas core right there. You're on in three, two, let's go. So set up your plank, option A, stay here. Option B, slowly walk your hands out away from your body. The farther you can walk your hands away, the harder it's going to be, right? Remember, your core stabilizes you as you move your arms and legs away from your body in different planes of motion. Whew. Nice work, come on, it's only 40 seconds and this is your last move. Finish it, making those sweaty handprint palms on the mat. Yes, we are, right here, come on. Walk it out, keep that core turned on, keep that core strong, you got this, yes, you can. Let's go 10 more seconds, stay with me. Yes, you can, come on. Finish right here, one more walkout. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, those toes are slipping. We made it, we did it. Go ahead, sit back. Take a nice child's pose stretch. Stretch it out if you need to. You can find one of my stretching routines right here on this page. I hope you liked this quick and effective five minute advanced ab workout. If it was too high for you, I have a beginner ab workout you can always scale back to, or you can always come back and keep trying to advance up. Keep up the good work, you guys. I'll see you again soon.